as they come thundering into the top of the lane in the first event. A quarter of a mile to catch. Rohan Kabir out in front. Simba the Lion in between horses. Traditional boy looks to have cried enough. Genealogy is racing down against the fence and now Rohan Kabir cries enough and Simba the Lion with a loud roar now snatches that lead. It is Simba the Lion beginning to open up just a bit over Rohan Kabir. They drive past the furlong pole. They're approaching the final 16th and it's Simba the Lion and terrific Tevin Foster running away from them. Simba the Lion takes the first in a facile victory. Wins by maybe six. Rohan Kabir second. Genealogy third. Traditional boy fourth. Right in flight is fifth. As they make their way coming out of the shoot. Denisine is in front of racing right there in second. That is last dance, where your honor is right in the middle. But it, it's a Denisine coming to the two furlong pole with that lead. Last dance, hustled up and asked for more, where your honor has to do more left back against the near rail over on the far side. That's Principal Tiffany. A Denisine still in front, but here comes last dance. Coming in, kicking into gear. It's a Denisine still in front of Last Dance. A half a furlong to go. And Last Dance has now hit the front from a Denisine. Trying hard to stay in touch. But Last Dance will go on to win. And welcome back to Shane Ellis. Last Dance goes on to win. Second to a Denisine. Then comes a shorty. And we're your honor. Back in fourth. Lambo Girl may just have that overall lead. Beautiful Moon running a good race right against the stand fence. On the far side, Altitude. Princess Rhea in the yellow cap in between horses, but can they catch this Alambo girl? Beautiful Moon continues the chase right against the stands. In the center, that's Princess Rhea. On the far side, Altitude. Blinding Light trying to come on, but it is Alambo girl out in front as they charge inside the final 16th. Alambo girl and Jermaine Lewis holding up Princess Rhea. They drive toward the line, and Alambo girl will take it. Jermaine Lewis gets it. Princess Rhea is second. Beautiful Moon is third. Blinding light is for As they come, make their way out of the chute. It's anybody's race. Storm Boy prompting the pace. Also there, here comes Texas Metal. Right in the middle, it's Storm Boy and a Texas Metal. Storm Boy is in front. Texas Metal taking Dead Aim on Storm Boy and St Texas Metal. Now hits the front from Storm Boy, trying to fight back. It's Texas Metal in front. Storm Boy is chasing hard, but Texas Metal will go on to win. Texas Metal and Eric Horton landing the second leg. Storm Boy is second. Got tight for th second, third. It could be Crafty LZ. Then got tight for fourth. Little Miss Nisha or Handyman. As they leave the quarter pole behind, Basilicus, the rider, having a look behind and changes his hole quickly, asking for everything. Eagle One breathing down the neck of the leader. Right against the fence, that's magical mood. Baton Rouge trying to close up, but it's a three horse dash as they're inside the final furlong, and now Eagle One begins to come on. Magical mood is making stealthy progress on the rail. It's Eagle One and magical mood pulling away from the rest. Eagle One just the leader, and Eagle One wins it over magical mood. Then Baton Rouge, Basilicus fades back into fourth, close between Sniper Man and Salad. He's adorable and the Linstead Market never comes next. And coming on to that's D Bay Machine, Rapida, Papidon, and uh, 
Solo Black and racing at the back of the field. That's Soul Warrior there at the top of the lane. And Zulu Warrior coming back for more right against the rail. Go West Young Man is out in the middle also coming on out wide. That's so beautiful. But it's Zulu Warrior that finds another gear and begins to kick away from the, this Zulu Warrior in front under the terrific Teving Foster. And he has a second on the card. It's Zulu Warrior running away from these in the end. And Zulu, War Zulu Warrior will end up about a nine length winner. Rama. Go West Young Man second, then comes She's Adorable, So Beautiful, and a Never in Fifth. the field as they come thundering into the top of the lane. A quarter of a mile to run. A fair down against the rail. Jay Spieth in the center with Midnight Galaxy. Toward the outside Blue Sensation. These four now in a line almost as they charge past the furlong pole and Blue Sensation has a narrow lead over Midnight Galaxy. Jay Spieth fighting on down against the rail. These three now inside the final 16th. It is Blue Sensation from Midnight Galaxy. Blue Sensation and O'Neill Mullings will win by almost two lengths of a Midnight Galaxy, and uh, then Jay Spieth, Shooting Star, and Rosetta. They're coming to the two and a half for a long pole and press conference. Goes on once again. Press conference about two lengths in front. Talita kicking uh, kicking in on the outside. It's press conference in front. Talita taking aim on press conference. Watch perfect brew coming up against the rail. Also uh, coming on to that Atlantic convoy. It's Talita. Press conference not yet done. Talita still in front. Press conference coming once again. Also coming on that perfect brew. Talita keeping them at bay. It's Talita now. And it's Talita in front. Perfect brew trying to get to Talita, but it won't happen talita beats perfect brew then comes press conference then comes uh, running on money miser and uh, atlantic convoy in fifth As they make their way coming into the top of the lane in the Clovis Metcalf and Mamma Mia has made her intentions known. She attempts to go all the way. Stablemate Fun Khan done now release. Mahogany is running on the spot at the moment, but they're all looking at the back end of the fleet footed Mamma Mia. They have a furlong to catch her. It's Mamma Mia by some three or four lengths. Inside the final 16, Shavon Townsend and Mamma Mia looks to have slipped the field. It is Shavon Townsend and Mamma Mia. Fun Khan done running on late. Mamma Mia beats. Stable mate Fun Khan done. Easy as ABC is third. Mahogany fourth. Close for fifth between Sanity and Chippy and Ability. the filly run julie run now grabs a hold of them and run julie run now takes the lead on the approach to the 5 16th interesting times ahead right alongside her and these two will come into the lane in the jamaica scent ledger the brave run julie run interesting times ahead now looks to point run julie run not done yet beginning to run on from behind that is crown chaser but they run toward the furlong pole interesting times ahead shaking loose from run julie run interesting times ahead opens up two in the drive they approach the final 16th it is interesting times ahead out in front and pouring away from them interesting times ahead a four timer for chase jason da costa and tevin foster crown chaser looks to be just second over run julie run then provident and finishing up in fifth captain sparrow Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.